America, free and independent, protecting our rights to access public lands. Welcome back to Intrepid Outdoors. On this week's segment of America Free and Independent, we're going to be talking about the Black Hills. The name alone conjures up thoughts of Sitting Bull, Custer, Wild Bill Hickok, and some of the last great battles of our country's Indian Wars. After the conflict with the American Indian was over, our country began to realize the importance of protecting some of our more beautiful land. As a result, Congress in 1899 set aside 1.2 million acres in South Dakota and Wyoming. This piece of land became part of our national forest system and today is known as the Black Hills National Forest. The forest today is teeming with big game animals like elk, white-tailed deer, mule deer, and mountain lions, along with some 200 other species of wildlife that call the Black Hills home. The first timber sale was also organized in 1899. It was estimated at the time that this forest had approximately 1.5 billion board feet of timber. Today, some 110 years later, this same forest is estimated to have 6.2 billion board feet of timber. But the more fascinating fact is, during this 110 year time period, we have harvested 6 billion board feet of lumber products. All the while, our wildlife numbers have only grown and their ranges have only expanded. In comparison, our other national forests are being devastated by the western pine beetle. Because of human involvement, the Black Hills National Forest has proven to be one of our healthiest and best managed forests. It has not only grown in size, but provides jobs and thriving wildlife habitats. It also produces the products we use to build and heat our homes, not to mention the countless recreational opportunities available, such as hunting, fishing, hiking, and snowmobiling, to name a few. Thanks for tuning in to this week's segment of America Free and Independent. And remember, our public lands must stay open. The citizens of the United States have the right to use and enjoy these beautiful lands and their valuable resources.